Alrighty guys, alrighty then guys, I didn't even mention the, the, the movies last time, that's something else great about America, you poser. Uh, anyway, this is Ben and Keith here, in America, and we're back with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Jewels of the Roses in America. Last episode, I was overwhelming flood with my mighty machine monsters, but he got lucky and got his, his stupid forest card with this big bird. Now then, let's continue this episode in America. America's, America's response has already been since, so, yeah. I think we'll just duel in this episode, Yugi. And this time, you don't stand a ghost of a chance, right, Bones? That's right, you don't stand a ghost of a chance in a duel against me. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Uh, I think we're actually just gonna end our turn. We've got four summoning stars, but... Can I make a Garbus here? Let me think. Because I know... Oh, oh, maybe I can make Gazelle. Yeah, if I get a beast with 1,300. Okay, I'll keep an eye. Well, but to do that, I need to waste a card. Uh, well, Leo Wizard's probably useless, so Spellcaster. Let's try a Spellcaster with... This, I guess. Okay, it failed. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to send Leo Wizard out there anyways. <laughs> no big deal. Probably shouldn't have played... Well, I tried to fuse it with... Uh, Dark Assailant, and that went horribly wrong. Oh, thank God. Dude, if he keeps moving cards onto the horse like this, I'm gonna definitely leave my leader where, it, where it's at. Because he seems to be, like, baited to, uh, just, you know, you know, come in here from the, uh, from my left. And, yeah, but... Anyways, how are you guys doing today? Today is... Uh... Of course, July 4th, uh, 2022. Uh, the time is currently, uh, 4.48 here. So we got a female card, a fish, at that, Enchanting Mermaid. So I know this and this should make, uh, Nickel Gal, uh, number two, but I'm gonna try fusing it with, uh, this first, Larvis. Okay, yeah. Nickel Gal, number two. And that's good, because now, uh, if this comes over here, we can have something defend to the, uh, to the right of us. Uh, but for now, let's just... Oh, wait, wait. Did I abbreviate the battles? Oh, yeah, I'm glad I checked. Okay, let's do it, guys. Let's try to wrap this up. And then I guess after this... Uh, who am I going to take on after this? I don't... Well, I guess I'll try Pegasus, I guess. I mean... No, no, I'll probably try... Uh, probably try Bones after this. Relax, Bones. We're working on a strategy here in America. So now let's see, if I move back here, is he going to move this here? And is this a monster? Well, we know it wasn't a trap, because it would have activated, right? When I attacked with, uh... uh what's this? Mm, I see. Well, I'm not going to play that, because we want him to move right here. Let's just end the turn. Let's see what happens. Let's let's test the AI. Now I move here in America. Yeah, I guess we figured out a perfect... Uh, glitch? A perfect storm, so to speak? And what time are we at? About three minutes in this one? Okay. Well, that's just... Is this going to be the end of the duel? Uh, 27? Yeah, I think we win. Fire wing Pegasus, go! Meteor wing! Oh, I'm sorry. Twin fire twisters. Now, you defeated my machines and exposed my flawed me mechanical AI in America. Imagine exposing the flaw of a machine who uses machines. That's meta in America. <laughs> oh, gosh, that was funny. That was funny. I'm a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. Anyway. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll try for three ground attack or bug roth in a row because there are two of them in the slot. So let's see. That's, is there a fake trap? Yeah, so it should be a thousand one. Okay, that's one. Boom. Oh, I missed. I got Saber Slasher. Well, I guess I'll try for that. Uh, that's one. Okay, I missed. Okay, well, now we'll just try for... I guess I'll try for Machine Conversion Factory, if I can get it. It's kind of... It's kind of hard to see for me. Uh, that's one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got it. Sweet. Well, we got three different cards. And I was lucky because that last... Uh, my machine conversion. It was wedged between two ground attacker Bugroths. I proed it up right there. That's good. Now, I can't believe you actually beat me in America. I was working on strategy here. Me, the car professor of the Rose Crusaders in Britain. 
That's right, Bandit Keith. I exposed the truth. You are British all along. In America. Ha! Joke's on you. I'm actually Canadian now. In Canada. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, like I said, I think Bones might be... Because, of course, this guy uses a lot of traps. Before we face him, I'm probably going to put in the code for Tree of Enlightenment just to make it... Actually, you know what? We have the forest field. Let's face this guy now. <laughs> you dare to challenge the dark deck of darkness rulers? Let's turn down the lights. <laughs> My castle of dark illusions will make the entire field shrouded in darkness, making things much easier to animate. <laughs> Stalemates are very entertaining, and you'll see just how entertaining they are next time on Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. <laughs> you are... Her massive, her massive weaponry will no match for my enormous chin. Ha! You look like the offspring of Jay Leno and Tim Curry. And I'll defeat you next time on Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. I am Henry Tudor, and I declare that you are weak. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you in the next part.